U.S. agree to work with Media Foundation for West Africa to support the Fact Checking Fellowship by deepening the collaboration to also support the safe and free professionalism of journalism in Ghana. Speaking at the event was U.S. Press Affairs Section, Mr. Kevin J. Brosnaham encourage all journalists in Ghana to be responsible through ability to be truthful and not to give up with the process and also not to be in hurry to publish, but rather to rewrite. First, we'll work with the Media Foundation for West Africa to support a fact-checking fellowship for young journalists entering the field. Second, we will continue our collaboration with Yali TV to promote fair and equitable reporting on people with disabilities and the challenges they face. And finally, we'll work with Dubawa, Ghana, to support fact check training for journalists in rural communities. These projects represent our continued support for responsible, inclusive, and professional journalism that protects and advances our shared democratic values and principles. The United States is an ardent defender of, free, of a free and responsible press, and our support will not stop. We look forward to deepening our collaborations with Ghana to support a safe, free, professional, and responsible media. Also speaking at the event was the Deputy Minister for Information, Honorable Fatima Tu Abubakar, stated that the attacks by the youth of Adan on a radio station, which result in serious policemen, and the case of journalists suspected to be involved in crime, and not the doing of the government. Attacks by some youth of Ada on a radio station, acts of some overzealous policemen, in handling some cases of journalists suspected to be involved in crimes, are not the doing of government. Government, however, acknowledging that these events negatively affect Ghana's ranking, has instituted the Coordinated Mechanism for the Safety of Journalists, run by the National Media Commission so that some of these issues can be addressed. Through this mechanism, more education is being made available to agencies and the public to desist from such acts. I would like to commend UNESCO for its work of promoting new transparency principles for online platforms, undertaking research into sustainable media business models, and putting a new focus on media and information literacy in our education system. It is in the spirit of this that I urge all stakeholders in the media fraternity to work in the right direction and ensure that the new digital journalistic landscape is successful and free of misinformation. Let us all work together to protect journalists and journalism. Professional journalists are on the side of truth, so don't give up. Um, be careful, be cautious, double check your sources, and don't be in a hurry to publish, be in a hurry to be right. According to the president of Ghana Journalists Association, Mr. Ronald Afelmoni, in his interview with Nation One TV, said collectively, media stakeholders is ready to take action to bounce back in advantageous manner to support Ghana democracy. The crop is so precipitous to the extent that we have to partly reconcile ourselves with the reality. So 
the time has come for all of us, all we just take a break. To theater, our latest writing, to the lessons of reality, so that we collectively take action to burn back in a vertiginous manner, so that uh, Ghana's democracy, Ghana's reputation is a reference point in Nigeria and Africa. Be in full growth, not only in this country, in Africa and the world. We, 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 in fact, we spend this sleepless I say, the report came. Because um, we know what we have done in the past. You know, we've been there before since the six petition in 2005. And it took change, it took inestimable sacrifice by generation, by stakeholders to bring us that far to the first in Africa and the 23rd in the world. And so to prepare 23 to 60 and the first to the 10th in Africa, this is hard to prevent. And this is head uh, uh, shattering. But at the same time, we don't give up. The report does not paint the picture we did this time. We, the report says we have confidence in Ghana as a pillar of democracy. A pillar of democracy in Africa. And we all know that democracy is impossible without the media. So the media serves as a oxygen for democracy. So if our democracy is not in practice, even though our ranking because it means there's a whole lot of hope that if we do this right, if our law and other community will, 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 will apply the law, regardless of who the perpetrators are, regardless of their partisan strikes, regardless of their material wealth, regardless of their connections, regardless of their social thing. Because we are in a dispensation of the rule of law. And inside this dispensation, anyone, regardless of who you are, anyone who finds themselves on the wrong side of the law should be made to taste the party. But we are not saying that. 